Hello, my friends. Welcome to video number four in June Jubilee at A Dash of Glitter. I hope you're having a great time. I hope you're enjoying the week and the scavenger hunt that we're having and that you're finding fun and new things in the catalog and that you're just overall having a great time. And I hope that some of the ideas that I'm sharing with you is something that you feel like you can do because that's, that's my goal is to help you feel like you can stamp along with me and craft with me. So... Thank you for being on my YouTube channel, for subscribing, and I would encourage that you continue to share my videos to let other people know. And of course, as always, I'm going to show you my Facebook page because I encourage you to go to my Facebook page as well. So when you go to my Facebook page, like this week, if you have been to my Facebook page, you're playing games with me, and we're doing a super fun scavenger hunt, and there's prizes and all kinds of cool stuff that goes along with being on the Facebook page. So a little more interactive there. And then of course my demonstrator website where you can order at any time with me, your happy Sambra lady, hello. And the new catalog is live. So June Jubilee is all about, if you haven't caught any of the other videos, it's about celebrating that the new catalog is out. And little by little I'm trying to show you some fun things that we've been doing. So, <clears throat> I'll go back real quickly um, and tell you the highlight of this whole week has been the end colors, which we'll go and look at those in a minute, and this lovely um, U stamp set and the pick-a-punch. Now, the lovely U, I've shown you some other ways that you can use it. Um, definitely go back and check out the Jars of Flower video, um, the video I just did yesterday, the vases base builder video you're gonna love those all the fun different ideas and then today i wanted to show you i have used them already but this is like the embellishments pages um super fun and the embellishments that we're using are down here they're the end color enamel dots because our big focus um this week is all the end colors, celebrating the end colors. And then I've been trying to show you how you can use punches in different ways. And so yesterday we had fun with the vase builder punch. Today, I hope that you're going to just totally fall in love with this umbrella punch. I have to be real honest. I, um, not that I don't like the umbrella, but I don't know that, like, it was at the top of my list. And then I saw somebody do something with the umbrella, which I'm going to show you today. Um, I'm trying to find the other umbrellas. I'll have to look it up. There's a couple of stamp sets for the umbrellas. Maybe I'll put it in the scavenger hunt that you can find it. But what I saw this person do with the umbrellas, I was like, sold. <laughs> I need to do this with those amazing umbrellas. Okay, magic box. So today we are going to make two different cards with that umbrella. And I hope that you absolutely adore them. So without a dash of glitter, of course, we get to use our dimensionals, and it's all about punches. Now, in other times, I've shown you punches, but the punches are really the star of the show this whole week. I'm really talking up the punches and how versatile they are and how fun and the different things that you can do with them. Okay, these are our projects. I'm going to move that to the side for a minute. The only stamp pad I'm using is gray granite. I know that sounds funny, but with all the end colors, I was kind of like pulling the words down with that. Here's those enamel dots up close so you can see them. We're going to use those today. Here's the lovely U that has been the star of the show this whole week as well with the pick-a-punch. You saw me pull the pick-a-punch out. So we've got that and then the umbrella punch and of course my glue and of course my snips and then we're going back to magic box Nancy. um we're going back to the in color dsp which actually this in color dsp is really really beautiful i actually really fell in love with it i um don't always buy the dsp that's like just the colors but i kind of like the uh designs on it and it's really pretty i thought it was really really cool okay i'm going to show you card number one that we're going to make are you ready this is so stinking cute look at those umbrellas is that not fabulous and 
you are my person with another umbrella. <laughs> I love it. I just thought these were super, super cute. So I'm using the end colors, obviously all one color. And then I added black. The lady that I saw, I don't even remember where I saw it. I saw a picture. Maybe someone shared a picture with me. Um, they didn't use the black. I just thought the dynamic of that black and white with just the color was really, really beautiful. Okay, so obviously... The first thing you're going to do, and you're not going to watch me punch them out. The first thing you're going to do is punch out like a thousand umbrellas. <laughs> so I will give you a little tip. In the paper, when we cut the paper, love it, chop it style. Remember, this is the four by six paper. So you cut it at, uh, I'm sorry, six by six paper. What is wrong with me? Six by six paper. So when you cut it in half, it's four by six and two by six these two by sixes are perfect for your umbrellas so if you want the big umbrella you just put it a little bit in the side like so and punch and then you can get two of those umbrellas in like go side by side go backwards and do that super simple and then the way to get this umbrella is just to go in the side like this there's really no good way this actually if I hadn't cut those out, this would actually give me three of this baby umbrella. And so you just punch it out and then just get rid of the excess. I know it does feel a little bit wasteful, like, oh, I wish there was a way to do it. But I just really couldn't find any way to kind of save around all the stuff that was getting chopped off. But, I mean, I, you know, you've got a lot of DSP. You're using it and having a good time. And that's what it's for. So that's just like my little tip for cut for punching your umbrellas. I'm not going to make you watch me punch a ton of umbrellas because obviously I do that ahead of time um, and then I cut my paper at two inches so I cut a piece of cardstock black cardstock on the eight and a half side I cut two inches two inches two inches until I'm done and then did a whole bunch of black and when you put that in there that black goes in and you get the cane too because you need the cane obviously when we're doing our umbrellas here so those are just my like little tips for punching out the umbrellas I obviously had already done it ahead of time so that you wouldn't have to watch me but there you go so you know how to punch the umbrellas okay so and I put them on a little baggie, which I do suggest, like I put all of my paper, but I suggest like once you do your umbrellas and stuff, I do suggest like a baggie um, just because it gets, it's just the best, it's just the best way to store it. I mean, then you don't lose all your little pieces. All right, so what we're going to do here this card base is the same so this is a piece of cardstock cut in half at the five and a half so it's eight and a half by five and a half scored a four and a fourth and that's on my uh, little notebook up there okay and then the card front layers you can go ahead and put on because we're not stamping on the layers so that's always the big key for me before I lay something down is am I stamping on it or if I have a happy accident and I need the back side of the card i don't want to put it down yet but i'm not going to need that for these so the black layer or the bottom layer whatever color you would choose to make that is five by four and i'm going to lay that down oh, my glue is getting a little fiddly like maybe telling me i'm done i'm done rachel you've done a whole lot of stamping today <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to lay that like center. That's all I'm doing. So excuse my head for just a minute as I look down here so I can center my paper. So that's my bottom layer. I'm going to lay that down. I liked the dichotomous look with the black and white with just the one color. I thought that was really beautiful. But you could do any color you wanted. You could go... Yeah, you could do whatever you wanted to do. Then the top layer is four and three fourths by three and three fourths. And I can lay that down too because I'm not actually stamping on this layer. So that makes it easy, doesn't it? It makes it nice and easy. Not a whole lot going on there. All right. So now look at that. We've got that going on. I'm actually going to do the inside. Now, 
the inside DSP I have written down is for the other card I'm going to show you. This was just a leftover piece. So I hadn't actually measured it. I was just a piece of black that I had left over that I thought was like, yeah, I'll throw that up there with the piece left over. So this is um, my leftovers. <laughs> like... Oh, I cut that off. Oh, look, that fits up there. Um, and you don't even have to do anything at the top. I just kind of liked having, I don't know, you know, just like having a little extra. And then I had this extra piece too, so I just added it with the colors. So none of this is something that you have to do. I just, I don't know. I just wanted to give it a little extra something. All right. I just thought that that just had like a cute look. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and stamp inside. Before we start adding all of those amazing umbrellas. So I um, love singing in the rain. That was one of my mom's favorites. She loves singing in the rain. And in fact, I have this really great memory. <laughs> I just was thinking of that. So probably, yeah, it probably was maybe a year in the year right before she, right before she passed away. Um... I don't even know if that, maybe theater's there anymore. It's where you could eat over on Hilliard Room Road. Um, like you could sit and eat at the at the movie theater and um, they played Singing in the Rain. And so that was super cool. And, and my dad and I kept it as a surprise. Mom was so, sort of hard to surprise sometimes because she would like ask questions and like <laughs> try to figure out the surprise. Um, and dad and I like somehow kept it a secret and we got down there and then, you know, you're seeing this live version of this movie that you've loved forever. It was a really cool memory. It's a really cool day that I spent with my parents. I really enjoyed that. Okay, so this is uh, You're My Person. I don't know why I just like that I would because I tell people you're my person okay so I'm actually just going to kind of put this like right in the middle of the paper you could put it anywhere you wanted to I just kind of liked it there and then that let me know where I was going to base that umbrella inside like where I was going to put that at so this is just super simple with the you're my person um, and I'm doing it in the gray granite, remember? I didn't, I don't know, I just, because of all the color, I just thought that gray granite was really, really pretty. So I just, that's what I chose to do. So for the inside umbrella, you need a cane, you need the stem of the umbrella, and you need um, a, one of the colors and one of the black. And so what I do is I actually put the stem down first and I did, I kind of liked it looking like it was almost like hooking, like see what I mean? Like if you look down here, like it was like hooking over that. And so I'm just gonna glue that down. So this is uh, just like fiddly glue. The little hooks, I know that there's gotta be an easier way. I just don't know what it is. I mean, I just use my glue a little bit and um, once I'm used to the glue, you don't really get it on your fingers once you're used to it. It's not too bad, but um, so there you go. So I glued that down and then the black piece goes first. I don't do dimensionals inside because I don't like to do dimensionals too often inside the card because I think it makes the card more puffy and you're already using dimensionals on the outside. So where you sit this on the stem just really depends on how much of that umbrella stem you want to see. I'm, you know, like there's no... Um, right or wrong on that and then I'm gonna do the polka dot because the polka dot might be one of my favorites I love it this little umbrella I'll tell you what it's so funny how you can see something and then you're like yeah that's all right but it you know it's not a big deal to me and then all of a sudden you're like I'm in love with it and I have to do 50 umbrellas <laughs> <laughs> so you're already done with the inside like look how cute that is you're already done with the inside there I love it now on the outside you can do it a couple different ways I'm gonna go ahead and do the words because we have them ready um, and I'm gonna use the a pick a punch we're gonna do that again so for the tag you see down there in the notebook the black piece is gonna be the three inches by the um, 
I'm so sorry. The black piece, <laughs> let's try that again, is going to be the one inch by the three and a half. And then the white piece where we're going to put our wording is going to be the three fourths inches by the three inches. Seriously. <laughs> oh, no, not happening. Now, I did this pick a punch in. Um, Oh gosh, I'm on video four, so I was trying to remember what the video was. Oh, the memories and more. The memories and more when I showed you how to do it. So um, when you do this, when I say one inch, um, I just do like a fraction. I mean, just like a, like a smidgy smaller than the one inch because you want it to slide super nicely. Like see how it like fits just right in the groove that's what you're looking for. You just want it to fit super nicely. And all that you do is you just feel it hit the back. You'll just, you'll feel it hit the back and then punch down and look, I've got this super, super cute shape. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. And what I was talking about in the memories of more is that these could become like super cute bookmarks. Um, or you could go super, super long. I mean, you could have this be as long as you want. That's the beauty. Now, it can only be one inch wide, but the length of it could be as long as you want it to be. And there you go. You've got that cute. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put that down because I'm not stamping on that. That isn't going to get stamped on. And then that's just one more piece that's already assembled on our card. I think that makes it easier. Um, and I'm doing it very close to the top and in the middle. So I'm just leaving just a little bit up there. And again, this is just like how I decided I wanted to do it. Now, I am going to go ahead and do this piece before I... Um, stamp the words because uh, that lets me see where that falls in the middle of the punch. I think that makes it super easy. I've seen people give other tips about how to do the middle of the punch. My tip is the Stamparatus. <laughs> That's my tip. The Stamparatus, I'm going to lay this down. Okay, you're going to see me lay it down on the paper like that. I'm going to take my magnets and go on the ends. And then when I lay my words, it's going to be laid in the middle of that. That's my tip. That's how I get the perfect placement every time because I use the Stamparatus. And because then I'm not worried about um, making an accident. If it if I don't get it stamped all the way, if you've watched any of my videos, you see that I just go back and I can stamp it again because it's it's where it belongs. It stays in place. I'm doing heartfelt on the front. I just thought that was really pretty. So I'm doing the heartfelt on the front. And again, I'm doing it in gray. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just like the gray with those colors. I thought it was really beautiful. Okay, I like that heartfelt. So we are done with that. Now, these are going to get dimensionals because I just thought it looked really nice. Uh, the tag looked really nice with the dimensionals on it. And I will, this is long enough that I will do three dimensionals because I don't like it to be saggy. I think sometimes it can get saggy in the middle um, when it's a longer tag like this and then it doesn't look so nice. Like after a while, it you know can like start to be droopy. So on this, I'm just literally looking to place it right in the center. That's all I was looking for. Now, I'm using the Just Jade. So in my gems, I'm going to use Just Jade. So this is what is called a monochromatic card when you are using just the one color. Now, you do have the black and white as your base, but you're not using any other color but the Just Jade. That's kind of a cool look. Um, not one that you do all the time necessarily, but I think it can have a, like a more classy look when you do something like that. And it's just different. I'm just trying to show you different ways. I mean, look at the, I'm using the exact same stamp set this whole time. And yet you're getting a different look every time. No, did you see what happened? <laughs> you silly glue. I'm actually going to take a little bit off that with my finger. Um, like I was pushing, pushing, it wasn't coming out, and then all of a sudden it's like, boop. Okay, so there you go. You already have that part done. Now, I'm going to move those out of the way for a moment. Now we're going to do our umbrellas. So here's what happens 
with the umbrellas. The black part of three of them gets glued down completely. So what I do, and I do this every time I did these cards, I kind of lay them out. I don't know why, but I like them uh, turning just a touch. And I'm basing it on, like I like it to be, I like this one to be close to the edge here. And I like this one to be close to the edge here. And then this one just kind of turns in. Do you see how I'm doing that? I mean, you're never going to have them perfect. You're just kind of figuring it out. And then that's the same thing. I'm going to come in and put the little um, post to the umbrella. I'm just going to kind of lay that in there like that. And I just, I'm really just kind of getting the base. Because once you get the three of these down, the rest is super simple. So I lift this up and I do the post first. I do the base of the umbrella first. Um, I just, that was the easiest for me. So if you find something that works easier for you, by all means. Your own voice, right? Find your own voice. Okay, once I lay that down, I will go back in and I will glue this black piece down. Okay, and I like to turn it so I was This kind of lets me play a little bit then and I can go, you know, like a little bit closer um, to the thing. And then, like once that one's laid down, this I know this is going to kind of be like in the middle section. Um, you see how I just do my little bit of baby glue. You don't have to do a ton of glue or anything. And then I make sure it's like, you know, like turn sideways a bit like that. A little sideways. Then I'm going to sit this one down. It's really not a hard card. It's just the pieces. So I like, again, like when you do assembly line, I just think assembly line helps you to um you know then you have a ton of umbrellas then it's not gonna it's not gonna feel so overwhelming when you're like oh you know i'd like to do some of those umbrella cards well if you like spend a little bit of time i mean go watch your show i love psych i'll go watch psych or something and just punch a bunch of umbrellas and then you have them ready or the vases like i did in the vase builder or whatever and then they're ready for you to use and then when you go to make a card you got all these like cool little punch out things i think that makes it easier and then i'm just coming over here the same i'm doing the exact same thing like on this side i'm just coming over and putting it down okay look how cute that is already now you are going to do dimensional. So you're going to build on this. So this is where I will lay down like where I want them to be. So like I'll do like maybe a polka dot there. And I'll do that one. <laughs> Sticking to my finger. And maybe this one here. And then I'll flip this over so like the words are on that one and then this one. Now, for the two in the middle, you have to glue it onto the black first and then do dimensionals. So I go ahead and do that because then everything else gets dimensional. So I'll show you what I mean. Like it's, it's really easy. I'm just trying to make sure you get all the steps. I'm making sure you get all the little steps. Okay. So we've got that one ready for dimensional. So go ahead and do this with the black. Same thing. We're going to go ahead and get that one ready. And you will put your other two stems, but they come last. It's like the last thing that you do. All right. So these are ready. Now we'll come over here for our dimensionals. Now the dimensionals for these umbrellas, I do kind of like a side by side like that and I go ahead and stick those down once I'm doing the dimensionals I go ahead and put those down so I'm just it's really up to you I like a little bit of the black to show and I don't normally like the umbrella to go like down on this black part so I kind of like base it on that where I want that to be seen Look how cute that is. Okay, same thing. I'm going to do the dimensionals. All right. I got my dimensionals going, and I'm going to go ahead and lay that down. Because once these umbrellas are down, it helps you to place the two middle umbrellas. Okay. So, same thing. I'm going to come across there. Look how cute that's looking. Let's do these. 
All right, and then it's time for the middle umbrellas. So cute. I really, like, I was just enamored with this umbrella card. My husband was like, you're getting pretty happy. I'm like, yeah, I really like it. Okay, for the middle ones, I think I said you had to go on the side on that. I was incorrect, <laughs> if you were watching me. You go on the sides on this one, and I go on the bottom. You don't have to do that for these because these kind of come on top of it and hold it down um, just so that you know how that works. Okay, and then I'm going to come in between these umbrellas just like this. Figure out where I want it to sit. I love that. And you hit the dimensionals. You kind of hit all the dimensionals. Then... That stem, because you put your dimensionals out here, that's, that little stem of the umbrella can slide right down in the middle, if that makes sense. So you do a little bit of glue on the stem. Make sure it's turned sideways and lay it down. Oh my gosh, is that not cute? Okay, let's do the last one. So again, we're going to come over here on the sides like this and then we're going to go down the bottom because you have a little more space that you have to cover because you're kind of like lopping over top of other umbrellas <laughs> if that makes sense Alrighty, super easy it's so cute but again isn't it fun to make the punches the hero of the day Look how cute these punches are. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, and so then we've got the one more stem and we are done. One more stem. Go down and remember, the stem then has the ability to tuck down inside. Ta-da, look how cute that is. Okay, and I did it in every color. So there's the Misty Moonlight, Magenta Madness, the Bumblebee, and the cinnamon cider. Is that not cute? All right, so that's the little umbrella. Well, you know we can't leave out the big umbrella. Are you ready? We made a dress. Are you kidding me? Is that not the coolest? Okay, let's make that card. Super, super simple. So I already showed you how to make the bigger umbrella. And of course, then I did the black ones too. Now, the card bases for these two cards are exactly the same, okay? Except one is turned this way and then this one I turned this way. So you're still at the eight and a half, five and a half, scored at four and a fourth, super simple. And I'm gonna go ahead and lay the black piece down because I'm not stamping on it. It's just my background. It's just like a pretty, right? Just a little background for me. Okay, but I am gonna stamp on this white piece. So before I put everything down, I'm gonna go ahead. I liked the word always on this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that word always um, and I know that I'm just really like literally stamping at the bottom of the page. And so that's just going to help me to do that um, before I put it down. Because remember, there's two sides of the paper. So I literally just kind of put the always in the middle. Just kind of went down, put the always in the middle, let the play do the work for you, and we're still just doing that gray granite. So just keeping it simple with the gray granite. Ta-da! Super, super simple. Okay, so now that can be put down because then I'm going to be putting that dress together <laughs> with the umbrella. Is that not crazy? So um, someone sent me a picture. I think my friend Dustin and Donna maybe were like, hey, did you see that? And they sent me a picture and I'm like, sold. I now have to have the umbrella punch. Where before I was like, well, maybe I've got other things. I'll think about it. Nope, no more thinking. <laughs> I was done. I was sold. Okay, for the inside, I have a strip of paper on the inside that is five and one fourth by three fourths inches and I'm just gonna put it there uh, this is just a decoration I'm just decorating 
on the inside. Super simple. We're going to keep it nice and easy on the inside. But we are going to go back and use that cool pick a punch. I can't wait to hear what you guys think of the pick a punch. I just think it is so cool. All right, so the same thing goes with the tag that I did the last time. This one, let's see if I say it right this time. This one is the um, three and a half inches by the one inch. And then this is the three inches by the three fourths inches. My voice is getting uh, worse, isn't it? Getting worse. Okay, so, yeah, I've still been dealing with the allergies, but I have to sing hallelujah that the air conditioning is fixed. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely singing hallelujah that our air conditioning is fixed. All right, I'm going to go in here. Remember, I'm just in the track, just going in the track till it ends and push it down and you get that nice, cool shape. And then I'm turning it around and doing the same thing. This pick a punch, so versatile. I think you are going to be so pleased with this pick a punch. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put this down because I am not stamping on it and then it'll get it out of the way. Now I'm turning it sideways. So I'm going to do like a funky little piece down here. I just think it's really cute. Isn't that cute? Now I am going to stamp on the white one. So I'm going to move the always and then I love this saying. Let me find it. Ah, uh, my eyes are <laughs> like blind. Trust me, you are lovely. We need to be better about that, don't we? For ourselves, I have found that I'm really needing, I'll come back over here so you can see me. I'm doing the white piece the same way, but it's the smaller one. I'm like inside the smaller track. We need to be better about building each other up and not tearing ourselves down. And I just think when we can find ways to tell people that they're lovely, you know, we look for the good in people and we find ways to share that. It makes a world of difference. I know it does for me. And so that's my goal. And then stop tearing yourself down. Stop doing it. Be creative. Find your voice. And then be okay. Don't compare yourself to other people. Be your quirky self and just enjoy it. And people will love you for you. That's what I have found. People will love you for you. Trust me, you are lovely. You are lovely indeed. Okay, there you go. Nice and easy. We're going to go ahead and put that in. Again, because it's inside, I'm not going to do dimensionals because I just think it pops it up too much. But the nice thing about the... Um, like little enamel dots that I am enjoying is that they're almost flat. And so then you feel like you can put them inside and they're not gonna like punch up your uh, paper too much and they're not gonna mess up your envelope. So I like that. So we're gonna add the Misty Moonlight cause that's the color we're using for this one. We're going to add a couple of enamel dots in there to make it all pretty. So I know this is a little more simplistic inside, but there's almost something about this one that just feels more like, I don't know, like more simplistic little fashion show with the dress. Okay, we are ready to put this dress together. Are you super excited? I saw this dress and I was like, you are kidding me. That is so cute. Now you can choose either side, but I fell in love with the polka dot side of this paper. I actually like all the sides of the paper, but for the dress, I thought the polka dots was super cute. And the reason, the other nice thing about the always, see when it's in the middle like this, these two dots, when I'm making the dress, I kind of just go a little bit above the always with these two pieces of the umbrella and that lets me know where to start my dress. Super simple. Then I put black in between because I just thought that it really brought out the dress. And I thought that it really like kind of gave it a cool look. Now when I'm putting the umbrella down, I just want to make sure that you can see a little bit of paper in between each of those pieces. That's kind of where I based like how to keep building the dress. You do need to build it from the bottom up. I tried it the other way and it was not a, it was not a success. 
Um, so you do indeed need to build it from the bottom up. Learn from my mistakes. Learn from my mistakes. Okay, and the same thing here. When I'm building it up, you're seeing, see how you're seeing a little bit under there. That's how you determine like where you're putting it. That's how you determine it. Now, I'm going to do one more blick and then... We have to build the bodice of the dress before we put the last um, skirt piece on. So I'll show you what I mean. So here you are with that piece. And then the bodice of the dress is the baby umbrella turned upside down. Brilliant. Now, I did not come up with this concept. I saw a picture. I did come up with the concept of the colors and how I kind of changed it around that. This isn't my idea. Someone else had it. And then I thought this was cute, how they had where it almost looked like a hanger coming out. So again, you're using all the pieces of the umbrella punch. You're just using them differently. And isn't that fun? Isn't it fun to reimagine things and use them differently? So for the cane, part of it, the one part you cut off so that it can go down in there like that so this piece this bodice piece literally fits like up like up against i like make it go down just a touch under there and so then i do the cane first and you literally just want it to be kind of in line with your dress like that so we're going to lay that down it can face either direction um, that's all, you know, preference for how you like it or how you like it to look. And of course, so you're kind of going in the middle at the top there. And then this little baby piece, you're kind of coming down a little bit and you want to lay it on top of it. And we're going to put a little, like a little gem on there. So it looks really cool. And then you don't like see the crisscross of it. I thought that was nice too. Okay. So. We're going to come down here and make like a little X, but not cross over on the other side so they sit tight like that. And of course, you're not going to see that under there, so it doesn't matter. It does. I mean, that doesn't look pretty right now, but once you cover it, it looks super cool, and you would never know. It's super cool. All right, so then when I go to put this on, I'm really going down so I see a little bit of that. Do you see what I mean? So that I get the bodice, and then I see the top part. Is that not the cutest? And then when I put my skirt on, magic has happened and you have created a dress <laughs> out of an umbrella. I love it. Such a cute idea. Seriously, such a cute idea. Okay, so now I have that. And the only thing I have left to do is I'm going to put a teeny tiny little gem on there. And you don't have to do that. I just kind of thought it just added to the front a little bit and just kind of made it a little magical. This umbrella, I can't even stand it. So cute. Um, no, not sticking on your finger, Rachel. There you go. There you go. Do you love it? I just think this is absolutely adorable. So adorable. So again, I did these in every color too. So, um, Misty Moonlight, I lost it. Bumblebee, Just Jade, Cinnamon Cider, Magenta Madness. Oh, uh, these made me happy. I'm going to tell you right now, these made me happy. Okay. Let's go to the front screen. There we are, my friends. I hope that you are loving this series this week that is really focusing on punches in a whole new way. Like just looking at punches in a whole new way. And I hope that you're loving that and you're having fun with it. Now again, the umbrella punch already existed and the vase builder punch did too. But the catalog is live. So you are welcome and able to order all the things that I'm using right now. So they're no longer not available to you. They are yours for the taking, my friend. So... Until I see you tomorrow, because I have one extra video, because I couldn't stand it, and I had to make this uh, one more video with the jar. Until I see you tomorrow, please go and make the world a better place, and use your voice to change the world around you for the better, to make us stronger, and to encourage and love one another. So, until I see you tomorrow, I bid you adieu.